but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pick chaotic good which is says here chaotic good characters are strong individualists marked by a streak of kindness and benevolence they believe in all the virtues of goodness and right but they have little use for laws and regulations they have no use for people who try to push folk around and tell them what to do their actions are guided by their own moral compass which although good may not always be in perfect agreement with the rest of society a brave frontiersman forever moving on as settlers follow in his wake is an example of a chaotic good character so we're gonna go ahead and be that abilities the only one that really matters for a mage is intelligence although dexterity and constitution are also ones that really you should pay attention to dexterity really helps your armor class and constitution gives you more hit points wisdom can be important too for well basically for casting wish spells but wisdom or charisma does not matter at all for any class in this game including the ones that claim to need it but we're gonna bump intelligence up to 18 wisdom 14 is fine strength can be lowered a little bit to pump up constitution but in truth 12 is a little low but this isn't gonna be a frontline character so I think he'll be okay Dexterity also is a little lower than I normally would want for a mage. And in fact, I'm going to pump that up to 17. Six, charisma makes him sort of a person that you don't like very much. But the game doesn't impose any real penalties on you for that. Other than it's supposed to make items in stores slightly more expensive if you've got a lower charisma but one is that you get so much gold in this game that after the first couple of quests you're not gonna care and two is that well I'm not sure I've ever really noticed the effects meaning at most it might be a couple percentage point discount I think the manual says it's more than that but anecdotally at least I've never actually seen it Maybe I just haven't been paying enough attention. Skills for a mage, they're rather limited, as you can see. We can pick dagger, quarterstaff, dart, and sling, and we can only put one point max in any of these. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take quarterstaff and sling for a ranged weapon. Now we're into the nitty gritty of it, which is the spells. Nahal's Weckless Dwemer is an interesting spell that's only available for wild mages. Basically, you can use this to cast any single spell in your spell book, including ones that you don't have a high enough level to cast, which can make it rather fun. But it also can do very weird things. Um, Magic Missile is one of the few low level spells that actually remains good at higher levels. Chromatic Orb is another one that's fairly good. Infravision is worthless. Identify is good, but you get so many Identify scrolls, there's not a whole lot of point in taking it. Same with this one, in that you can cast, you can only cast that once. In which case, you're better off taking a scroll and casting it with that. Shield is a good one to take. As with Burning Hands, especially going up against trolls and things like that. Most of the rest of these are okay at lower levels, but they're not really that great as you get higher up in the game. So we'll just go ahead and take a few here that are... Well, that might help a little bit, but I don't intend to be using most of them very often here.
Chaos Shield is definitely one that you want to take as a wild mage. It basically increases your chances to cast a spell successfully, so you kind of want to have it. Um, Melf's Acid Arrow is a good one to have with you at any level. So is Mirror Image. Vocalize is another good one because there's a lot of enemies that do silence you, especially priests. There is an amulet that grants it that's available later on in the game, but you might want to take it. Um, resist Fear, although your cleric can also cast that. Um, blur. And Agonar's Scorcher. And I know a few of these others are fairly good too, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be reamed out in comments for the ones that I took, but... Yeah, I'm just sort of doing the... Making a, the most well-rounded character and... Ca character that I think can handle pretty much anything the game's going to throw. You can always buy more spells later on too. This isn't this is a mage, not a sorcerer. Flame arrows a good one. Um Mel's minute meteors is one of the best spells in the game, believe it or not. <laughs> Especially against some of the higher level creatures. Skull traps another one that's real good. Minor spell deflections okay, but it's not unbelievable either. Spell magic can be fairly good. As can spell thrust, although most of the enemies that you find that that will really be helpful against, they're using spells and protections higher than 5th level, so it's not going to stop them. But it can be useful early on. Finally, we're going to take this one. Um, we're actually going to take haste because, well, for obvious reasons, it hastes you. Level 4, Secret Word is actually really good. It'll remove one spell protection of 8th level or lower, so that's real good against enemy mages. Stone Skin is almost vital. You don't really want to be doing a game without it as a mage because it's probably the best combat protection spell in the game. Spirit armor is okay, but in truth you're not going to use it much once you get a halfway decent robe, so... Ice Storm's a pretty good AoE, just be careful of throwing that at party members. These monster summon- these summoning spells too can be fairly good. Greater Malison's fairly good too, it because it reduces the enemy's chances to s save against your spells. Teleport Field can be a really fun one because you can just see here, it starts basically teleporting enemies all over the place, which can be good at say breaking up tough groups of fighters and things like that. Um. What else do we want to take here? Minor Sequencer we want to take because it'll let you cast multiple spells at once. Um, I'm actually going to take... Um, I'm actually going to take the Teleport Field even though I know that I'll probably get reamed out for that one, because Wizard Eye is another fairly good one. So is Spirit Armor. And so are a few of these others, like Emotion and, ch like emotion and Confusion can be pretty good too, but Priests also have Confusion. These two Fire Shields can be fairly good too if you find yourself getting attacked. Appearance. I'm just going to give him an outfit that fairly well matches the uh, picture that I've selected for him. There. And let's listen to all the voices. This one, in Icewind Dale, these are a little funnier than they are in Baldur's Gate, but... Ah! The 
Let's do this quick and painful. To battle with no regrets. To battle and victory. To battle and victory. We're just going to select this one because I think it sounds the best for a male mage, but... Yeah, everyone can have their own opinions, and... There we... There we are. There's our guy. As soon as we start the game, we're going to see a cutscene. Which sort of shows him being tortured and in the dungeon that you start out in. <laughs> 